So recently I got news that a lot of our favorite restaurant franchises are in danger of closing, like Red Lobster or Applebee's and even Hooters. That Red Lobster one hit me the most, man. They already filed for bankruptcy. But I for one love fast casual dining and I won't let it die. So today I'm going to four popular restaurants that are in danger of dying and see if these places deserve a revival or a funeral. First up, Applebee's. Ooh, we're looking at like a low orange bar for the lifeline of this restaurant. Not looking the best. But uh, Applebee's founded November 19, 1980. And for my gift givers out there, a day before my birthday. The day, not the year. I'm not 44. Population, four. Uh, that's a bad sign. Then I walked in and said, I want the best seat with the best view, please. All right, guys, we've been seated. I've already been asked if I wanted a drink. Just ordered a water. Then I picked up the menu, looking for my go-tos at restaurants. But then I remembered the rules. I can only get the most popular menu item, which almost gave me a mini heart attack. I'm obsessed with burgers. I literally have a problem. I take five cheeseburgers over a date with Kylie Jenner. If that doesn't say I have a problem, I don't know what does. Um, can I get the most popular menu item? It wasn't a burger. It was ribs. <sighs> time to crash out. Oh, of course, after I timed them to see how long my food takes. But uh, while we wait, we're going to play a game I like to call This Place is Dying, But Why? <clears throat> Applebee's is closing up to 35 restaurants this year alone. They only have 1,500 in the United States and closed 100 by the end of last year. Uh, enough of that. We twiddled our fingers waiting for the food to arrive. Um, This actually took way longer than expected. 11 minutes. Wow. I was looking. Rating 1 through 5. Yeah, as you guys can see, I went straight for the food, man. I was so hungry. Those were some really good fries. Just look at that. That looks amazing. Then I moved on to the ribs. To be honest, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't ever eat ribs at restaurants. Those ribs were extremely good. I had to let the waiter know. These are really good. They are good, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Get the caskets ready. I didn't like her response. It tastes like somebody's uncle is back there on that grill cooking up these ribs, bro. I don't think I've ever had above decent ribs, so this was actually genuinely a shocker. I'm still taking burgers over ribs any day, though. I absolutely killed my plate. Like, there's not a lick left. Speaking of licks, the total price was $20. Yes, I said it. $20. <sighs> we all gotta remember back when restaurants had decent prices. This is an old Applebee's menu from 2005, and I know inflation hit us like 09 breezy, but nothing was over $5. Now, when it comes to my experience at this restaurant, this place definitely deserves a revival easily anyways let's pack up let's get the hell out of here and let's go to one of my favorite restaurants of all time chili's the life bars at yellow meaning that they still have some type of hope there's no hope all right currently in front of the chili's logo man um it's kind of crazy bro that this might be chili's funeral this might be the last time Ugh, so emotional long story short i'm sad and angry <laughs> anyways i was quickly greeted to a table looked around population around 12. I love how I go to these restaurants and then look at the menu like I have a choice on what I'm gonna eat. Sometimes it's not about what you want. It's about what the people want. So I'm gonna get the most popular menu item, like I always do. But for those who are wondering, a good old burger is always my go-to. Always. All right, so what I love most about Chili's, they have like this iPad that you pay from and you can also play games on, but I'm not paying for games on top of the food I already have to pay for, you know, so. Um, but that's a cool option, right? And soon enough, my waiter approached me to ask me that big question. I got something, uh, um, actually, can I get the most popular menu item? Ooh, let me just say, I'm excited for what the most popular menu item is. But while we wait, let's play. This place is dying, but, uh, why, man? But that directly leads to my next question. Is this place even dying? Well, uh, yes and no. According to these articles, they'll tell you they're nowhere near closing. But declining restaurant locations is as clear as it gets. That's a loss of 400 locations in just four years. Sheesh. And of course, while I was giving you guys that information and waiting, I was timing them. Hurry up, Chili's. And just like that, they're here. If you can tell by the utter shock in my face, I was completely surprised I was given my food in under two minutes. I had to search up if that was even close to the world record. It wasn't. 13.5 seconds. How is that even possible? Like, look at this, guys. Y'all can't tell me this doesn't look amazing. You really expect me to believe that this place is going bankrupt? This place is closing soon? Nah, bro. Just cue the time lapse of me absolutely destroying this food. The food was genuinely amazing. It's exactly why I come here on special occasions. Except this time, the occasion is a YouTube video. And I'm eating by myself. Long story short, Chili's. Please don't close down. Please. Now, when it comes to my experience at Chili's, I'll be honest, this place has amazing food and reasonable prices. I'm giving Chili's a revival. To say the least, I'm incredibly full, but we have two more restaurants to go to. So I'm not really full, or I have to tell myself that. Now we're on our way to what most people consider the craziest place on earth. Planet Fitness? Yeah, with all the food I was eating in this video, it was a must I got some cardio in. What type of video would this be if I just ate all video and not work out? You know, I just consumed over like 3,000 calories. That's well over what you're supposed to eat in a day. I feel kind of fat, but just burn some calories. Feeling kind of good. Let's go. 
to the next restaurant. I hop, aka I hop. It's good. That sounded better in my head. Forget I said that. All right, so I'm in some sort of dilemma here. Um, I have no clue if this I hop's open. It it just looks abandoned. I don't know. Open signs in front of restaurants are supposed to be lit up, right? I'm gonna just try to walk inside and uh, hopefully there's people in there. It says please wait to be seated. Um, I see nobody in sight. I'm kind of worried that I just wasted my time to go to an abandoned I hop. Actually, I hear people talking. There's a person here. That's nice. From the looks of it, I've only seen one person. I just sat myself down as quickly as possible and just started flipping through the menu like a normal customer. I was extremely confused. This is one of the most quietest restaurants I've ever been to in my life. I feel like if you have like homework or have to study, go to IHOP. It's extremely quiet. Man, I'll be honest. This was getting extremely weird. I feel like I wasn't supposed to be in here. Luckily, I was greeted by a creepy waiter over here. I thought she was a customer when I walked in. So that means population zero. <sighs> I ordered the most popular menu item and started timing them to see how long my food takes to get here. But while I was sitting there waiting for my food to arrive, I thought to myself, why is this place dying? During my painfully long research, I found that IHOP's demise started around that time. Financially, this place just can't get it together. And to feel some sympathy for y'all IHOP lovers, that's not the only thing COVID ruined. I had a track season my freshman year that got canceled. Imagine what I could have been. That was purely a joke. Kind of. I also seen that they plan to merge with Applebee's, which by their math means more success. But while I was doing all that talking, guess what? My food has arrived. And it only took a quick 15 minutes. I was the only customer there. There's no reason why I should be waiting for 15 minutes for some chicken tenders and French toast. But sometimes you gotta think about things how you don't wanna think about things and just eat. And I'm glad I took my own advice because those French toasts were really good. 10 out of 10 meal, if I'm gonna be honest. I hope that IHOP was good and it was good. That sounded better in my head, chill. Although the vibes were extremely off as soon as I came in, I'm gonna give this place a revival. That was an interesting experience. But now, on to the last restaurant, Red Lobster. No need for a life bar because this restaurant's already dead. This is our last time ever stepping foot in a Red Lobster. I literally hate the taste of seafood, and uh, that's Red Lobster's bread and butter. Surprisingly, one thing I hate more than the taste of seafood is the smell. I gotta prepare my nose for the smell of seafood and, like, not to throw up. I know you guys are probably asking yourselves, why are you at a place that only sells seafood when you don't like seafood? Because of these. Red Lobster has the best biscuits in the world. And I gotta try them one last time. There's not a soul here. Add on to the depression, I guess. I thought the population was zero, but there's like a family kind of ducked off in the corner. So, two. The population is two. I'm still gonna sit here and pretend I'm reading the menu because it's like, it's a part of the restaurant experience, you know? I feel like I gotta act like I'm struggling to find what I'm gonna eat, you feel me? Now let's see how Red Lobster managed to get themselves bankrupt so apparently it all started from their endless shrimp deal which was 25 dollars for an endless amount of shrimp a lot of people started partaking in their new deal turning what they thought was a good idea into a 12 million dollar loss sheesh i don't know why they didn't just stop giving free shrimp out you would think after like 8 million you would just stop and make people pay for the shrimp but anyways i ordered some of their biscuits and then was just playing the waiting game boom editing magic it's already here then i just the smallest every single one of those biscuits look how happy i look i also spent no money because these are free so um that's a good thing right then it was about that time i pack it up and get out of here goodbye red lobster you won't be missed all right guys this is the outro after the outro you know uh only real ones are here right now so uh i just got this dm and when i tell you guys it's the most wholesome thing i've ever seen it's it's very wholesome i was just laying down but i was like i gotta get up and i gotta talk to the people now before i show you guys this dm most of you guys don't know but i started youtube about a year ago from today so it's kind of the anniversary of i am cherry started off with a reaction channel long story short now i got this main channel check out my reaction channel it should be linked down in the description i was about to say i don't really get positive comments but i get positive comments but like this one really hit me you know they followed me and dm me this your videos got recommended to me and i love your content man you deserve to be big i binged watched all your videos thank you first off i'm genuinely excited to see your channel grow please don't stop making content now what really just struck the core the 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 the, 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 the what really just resonated with me right there man um please don't stop making content like saying please don't stop making content i feel like everybody who's a content creator goes through this where it's just like things are just like not working out and you're just like uh you know what i'm saying you start thinking maybe i should stop making content but uh somebody telling me to not stop it's very wholesome man um yeah this is the final outro i've never done two outros